Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This is another product review, another Chromebook review like I like doing lately. This one is of the Toshiba Chromebook 2. If you notice, I have a lot of stickers on this one. I really like the stickers. This one, and I'll try to get it a little closer without messing up the light. This one, better. This Toshiba Chromebook has a lot of it looks like a mac when you hold it like this and then you hold it like that and it kind of looks a little bit like a mac and so on of course when you flip it over to this side you get this kind of cheap plastic the whole thing is plastic um, and i've enjoyed putting the stickers on it over time as you can tell um, but i bought this one in 2015 it was june 2015 it is toshiba and the one thing i think about toshiba is that they haven't really made any chromebooks since they're not a really big player in the chromebook game but they were a brand I had heard of and I had read some good things about it. And I do like the way it looks and feels. It's not super light, but it's not uh, super heavy either. If we just look at ports just real quick, you got your USB and your HDMI out. And I think you got a lock there and an SD or no, that's the, that would be the sound port there. Mic port. Here is your SD port along with another USB, which is really nice. And the power jack goes in as well. All right, so this device I bought in 2015, and I got to say, it never really performed for me as well as earlier I had an HP Chromebook uh, 14 from my school, and that one worked perfectly. This one always was a little slow to connect to the internet at the start whenever you first boot it up. It never was good with multi-tabs, like 10 tabs at a time was a little rough. Um, let me show you what we got right now, and I'll tell you what I'm using it for now. So if I open it up, and this should start any second now. There we go, it's booting up real quick. So this is it, and I think I have it all the way brightened. Give me a second here. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like all the way brightened, and I think there's some glare. I will say this, the screen, even though it's got these you know, cheap uh, plastic bezels, it, the screen itself is wonderful. It's a beautiful screen. It's maybe not the best I've seen, but it's really, really nice. I'm a big fan of it. Um, let's see from there keyboard. This keyboard is great. I think most Chromebooks, if they're, you know, in big enough size, they come with a really nice, I've really enjoyed the keyboards and this one is really, really good. It's got the power switch right here. Like I like that's the actual power switch for the device. It's not just one of multiple or whatever. I really like it in that way. Right now I have it set to the uh, highest screen resolution. And what that does is it makes things a little bit small. So it's not really good for working and getting work done, but for watching Netflix. And that's what this has become. This has become kind of the Netflix Hulu device. Uh, my wife used it for some work on the way home from a long car ride this weekend. She used her mobile hotspot and she actually enjoyed the heck out of it. She was really enjoying it. She also didn't have like 10 tabs up at a time. And as I look back at the two years that I've used this as a personal device, for that first year, I definitely did a lot of work. I actually did work work on it because I didn't like my device at work. So I would bring this to work and connect to the guest network. Year two was definitely a lot more sluggish. But after a year, I could tell it definitely got sluggish and slow. But I'm definitely going to keep it around. My wife's going to use it. I'm going to use it for Netflix and stuff. And overall, I like it. One last thing, the screen only goes back that far. I think in this day and age, you should definitely try to get a 180 at, at, at the least with the laptop or Chromebook. Um, so I would say, yeah, not maybe not my favorite, but nice for a plastic design. It's a pretty nice design, beautiful screen, great keyboard. So a def oh, and the speakers. I, I don't usually talk about speakers, but in this case, the speakers on this one are really, really good. So it really is more of a consumption than a creation device. Although I did for at least a good year or so, I did do a lot of creating on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this, just uh, comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thanks again for watching.